We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bike racers on a quest to race the coolest and most interesting mountain bike races around the world. We've had a great season so far and have raced all sorts of races, everything from stage races to 12 hour races to enduro and cross country. And just a couple of weeks ago, I won my second single speed national title in a row. Unfortunately, last week we both tested positive for COVID. So instead of racing the steamboat enduro like we were planning to, we headed home to recover. It was a nasty one, and we both spent two days in bed with a fever, but now we're slowly starting to feel good enough to ride again, and I'm really hoping I'll be able to race the party at Paha this weekend. There's just one little problem. I was all optimistic. I was like, I'm gonna get up this morning, I'm gonna test, I'm gonna pre-ride for party at Paha tomorrow, and it's all gonna be hunky-dory. This is what I got. And when you look at it, you're like, oh, cool, no positive. But if you look real carefully, there's actually a second line there. There are a couple of pieces of good news about this race though. First of all, it is at Pajarito Bike Park, which is our home bike park. We have ridden there quite a bit over the years, although not a whole lot this year. The second piece of good news is that Party of Paja is what they call gravity stage racing. Basically, there are certain runs that you are timed on and you're only timed on the downhills. You take the chairlift up and you're allowed to do them as many times as you want and they take your fastest times. Theoretically, I could go up there tomorrow. I could do two, three laps on everything, but it is monsoon season currently in New Mexico, which means that basically every afternoon there is lightning and thunder, shut the lifts down at about one o'clock usually. I'm gonna need to get up there bright and early tomorrow morning. The final piece of good news is that I have the ultimate bike for this race, Niner WFO 9RDO. This is a huge bike. It's 170 in the rear, 180 in the front. I rode it at Pajarito a couple weeks ago and it's amazing there. It just makes those trails feel so much smoother and they're not smooth. They're very rocky and very rough. Because I'm not getting to pre-ride though, my plan is I'm going to watch previous footage of all of these race runs. That's a really cool way to get to pre-ride without actually being physically present. This method of watching footage and like mentally pre-riding stages has worked really well for me. So I'm hoping the same will be true for this weekend. JR Tachupa Tomate, Sidewinder, Dog Patch DH, Breaking Bad. Oh, interesting. I haven't ridden Breaking Bad in years. Well, I went digging for footage and I found Breaking Bad. We've got a JR, Air Raid Battle Stations. I wasn't able to find a Mayday, but I know that trail pretty well. We've got Sidewinder, and we've got Dog Patch. I cannot, for the life of me, find a Chupacabra run. When I've done this in the past, I've had problems where practiced it mentally or reviewed it so many times, but not at the speed that I was gonna be doing it, and therefore things surprised me because they were coming so fast. So I'm gonna run everything at 115%, and hopefully I can go 115% as fast tomorrow. Let's start with dog patch. The next morning was my 11th day post-testing positive for COVID and I finally got the negative test I was hoping for. Unfortunately, Sid got sick a couple days after me, so continued to test positive and wasn't able to race. I did not sleep very well. I was up like way before my alarm, which I hate. I think I'm just nervous. This is not the usual preparation I have for a race. I would say it was not spectacular preparation because normally I don't have COVID and I get to pre-ride. So I think that's why I'm nervous. I just, you know, I want to do well because I always want to do well when I'm racing. And this was maybe not the perfect setup for doing well. I've reviewed the stages a couple of times yesterday. I'm gonna go through them again once more this morning while I'm cooking breakfast. And hopefully I get up there and like feel good and ready to go. I made it up here to Paha. It's about 8.30, which is perfect. I'm gonna go up, grab my timing chip, get on my bike, head over the lift, try to get one of the first lifts up. Before I head up though, I wanna give a huge shout out to Competitive Cyclist who is sponsoring this video. As you guys know, they have been huge supporters of the channel and we really, really appreciate it. Today, I wanna to talk about my park get up because basically everything I'm wearing is available on Competitive Cyclist. These are the Pearl Izumi X Alp Elevate shoes. Absolutely love these shoes. Uh, I love the double boa. They give a really nice closure and they're flexible enough to be comfortable on like big 
fatter pedals like these ones where you get a little bit more pedal feel, but also have plenty of power transfer so feel good when you're pedaling, you don't feel like you're losing all your efficiency. Then we've got the Perlozumi Elevate Knee Guards. We've talked about these before. We love these knee pads. Basically, they've got great mesh on the back so they breathe really well and they're super flexible and so are comfortable to pedal in all day but then also plenty of good protection. And then these shorts are the Perlozumi Summit Pros. Um, I really like that they've got this awesome little mesh right here. Keep things nice and cool. And they're a fairly light fabric, but still offer good protection. And then underneath, I got a pair of Perlozumi liner shorts, which I highly recommend for things like park and downhill days. All of this kit is available on Competitive Cyclist. And if you use the code Sid and Mackie 15, you can get 15% off your first order. Some exclusions apply. Okay, time to go race some bicycles. So normally your bike goes on the back of the chair like that. But if you're willing to carry your own bike, you can skip the line because they basically have more seats for people to sit than they do bike racks. So that's what I'm gonna be doing to try to maximize my ability to get runs so I can try to get at least two runs on everything because it turns out that the courses were not exactly what I thought they were. And uh, Sidewinder goes to Air Raid and Battle Stations and Leaping Lizard, which is great, but that was not what it said on the website. And we are not racing half Aspen. So things are a little different, um, which is fine. It'll be fun but I am definitely going to try to get multiple laps. We are heading down to Dog Patch. Guess we ought to go for it. quite pleased with that lap. I think reviewing the footage definitely helped. Things didn't really come out of nowhere at me. All right, Sidewinder Air Raid Battle Stations. Good luck, guys. All right, Sidewinder. Well, considering that one, I hadn't really been down for a while and I didn't really get to practice it because I didn't have footage from it. I felt pretty good on it. I chose not to hit the big step down. It's probably worth a second, maybe a little bit less. So it's not a huge difference. I just, you know, I hadn't ridden it in a while and I was like, you know, right now I'm just feeling going around the step down. Didn't feel quite as clean as the first one but I didn't have any crashes. I didn't have any serious bobbles or anything like that. So I did clip a pedal while pedaling on the flat part of Sidewinder. It's very easy to do. So I'm glad that all it did was knock my foot off and I had to clip back in. Breaking bad.
Though that was not my cleanest run so far. I do think Breaking Bad has gotten beat up since the last time I rode it and since the footage I was watching. And this one step down over here, I couldn't remember why I didn't love it. And then I hit it <laughs> and I remembered why I don't love it, which is that you either have to go short or far. And if you go short, you can land on like a little thing that like dips down. And if you go far, you can clear to the other landing. But if you go in the middle, which might have been what I did, then you basically case it into like the second part of the roll. That was a bummer. Fortunately, this bike is giant and awesome and just sucked it up no problem. Hopefully I get another run. And on the second run, I will make sure I have enough speed to like send it all the way to the real landing. If you look over that way, you can see that the clouds are already starting to build. So as predicted, it's probably going to lightning and thunder and they'll have to shut the lifts down. Good luck. Yeah, Enjoy. Yeah, Thanks. Mackie, your chain's off. You gotta pump. Come on, pump. Pump, pump, pump. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, that's a bummer. I'm gonna need to redo this one for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Well, shoot. This is what happened, guys. I have, well, this is very bent. You can see maybe from the top here. And it seems like these like arms of the crank are bent, or at least that one. I have destroyed chain rings before. It's a thing. I have not done it to an XT before or bent it like that. So I don't know what happened, but hopefully I can get it straight again because I don't think I have time to go down to the house, get another crank, come back up here before weather. Oh. Okay, we're better. Definitely still bent there, but it's certainly improved. I seem to be able to pedal. Definitely still bent, enough so that the uh, chain guide doesn't really fit on. That is definitely not how I was hoping that run would go. And now I need to go do it again because I wasn't able to pedal at all at the end. And turns out there's the pedaling at the end. more like it. That was much better. <laughs> My chain stayed on. That was excellent. That helped a lot. I knew the trail better having done it whatever 30-40 minutes ago. It was pretty smooth. It was pretty clean. I think it's about as good of a run as I'm going to have on JR to Chupa. Now I think I'm going to review the footage on this camera of 
Breaking Bad and then do another lap of Breaking Bad and see if I can have a good, clean, faster run. Well, I should have thought of this earlier because my shifting was a little weird and something sounded rattly. And so I just kept adjusting my shifting. But of course, it's that my rear wheel is loose. Classic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was it. While we're at it, we will check some more things. Nope, front wheel seems good. How are the pedals? Oh yeah, pedals loose. Well, I'm a lot happier with that run than the first time down Breaking Bad. That was much better. Hit the step down, hit the lines pretty well, I think. I heard one clap of thunder on the way up the last lift, but apparently it's far enough away that they're still spinning. So that's, uh, that's good news. This is only my second time riding this bike, the WFO 9RDO. And I am having the same reaction that I did the first time I rode it a couple weeks ago, which is that it's amazing and it just smooth things, smooths things out. Ooh, that was thunder. That might be the lifts for the day. But it just smooths things out so much. Like rough stuff feels a lot smoother on this bike, which is really awesome because the trails we're racing today are pretty rough. It's just a really fun bike. I predicted correctly that they are on lightning hold because those ones were close enough. I may just assume that this is the end for me. Got two laps on three of them, not on dog patch, but I felt pretty good on that one. Sidewinder, let's do it. by it when you see a spot. Lifts have been shut down for, well, close to an hour probably, and that's another 15 minutes. So I took a break, ate some lunch. Now I figure I'll go dip my chip and see what results say. It wasn't good enough for the top spot, but third place, I'll take third place. I'm pretty stoked on that. Bike felt awesome. I set PRs on a bunch of stuff, which I'm really, really stoked about because I've, I've spent some time up here. I've ridden some Paha laps and uh, it's really cool to have set fastest times on them according to Strava. That means I'm riding fast. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to be more awesome.